let's start talking about the fingers. So I added some tape to my instrument. Hopefully yours has tape too. We've got four fingers that we use. We've got finger number one, two, three, and four. So each finger has its own tape line to be on. And let's just review the names of our open strings. I'm going to do this in guitar position uh, so that you can see it a little bit better than if it was up on my shoulder like this. So we've got our lowest string. Do you remember what the name of that is? G. And our next string, D. And our next string, A. And our last string, our thinnest string, E. So in music, we use the alphabet. We just use a much shorter version of it. So in the music alphabet, we only go up to G. So it would sound something like this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 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 So we don't have H, we don't have J, we don't have Z, we don't have any of those weird letters. Just the first seven, and when you get to G, it goes right back to what? A. So let's try it. G, what comes after G? A, B, C. If we added number four, it'd be D. Here's the secret about the fourth finger. It's always the same name as your next open string. So if we do that again on the G string, G, A, B, C, D, we already know that our next open string is D. If we listen to that sound, it's the same note. The tone is just a little bit different. How it sounds. This one, it's sort of bright and free. This one is sort of closed, a little softer, but it's the same note. So if we go to our next string, we left off on D. What comes after D in the alphabet? E, F, we're gonna call this one F sharp, G. And if we added that pinky again, what is it going to be? What comes after G? A, and again, that's gonna be the same as our next open string. So if we go to the next string, A, B, we're gonna call this one C sharp, D, fourth finger would be what? E, which again, same as our next string. Let's keep going for now. We've got E, we've got F sharp, G sharp, A, B. So we don't have a B string, but if we had another higher string, it'd be B. Guitars have a B string, if anyone's familiar with that out there. So let's try all that again. I'll point out where the sharps are. We, let's start back at our lowest string on G. G, A, B, C, D, open D, E, F sharp, G, A, open A, B, C sharp, D, E, open E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and B. So pause this video, try that a couple times, and then meet me back here and we'll go backwards. Okay, you're back. Let's go backwards. We're gonna start with that B and go A, G sharp, F sharp, E. Let's go four finger E, D, C sharp, B, A. Let's go four fingers, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Let's go four finger D. C, B, A, G. You can slow this down, you can pause it, but work on that until that is pretty easy to just go through and name. 
Um, you can do another variation of the exercise that takes out the fourth finger, and it would be G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, and then backwards, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. So you can do the exercise like that. Just be aware that if you ever need your fourth finger, it's the same name and the same note as your next open string. <laughs> 